I'd like you to remove your head from your ass! But I don't see that happening anytime soon! Oh, but all joking aside, it has finally come to this. Now, I made a video talking about the Yu Hakusho live action coming soon, and this was like a year and a half ago. It's been a long time since there's been any update whatsoever about the Yu Yu Hakusho live action. And honestly, after the Kaiba Bebop fiasco that we had, and this is a completely different creative team behind this that was making that. It's just Netflix is just the the hosting site that will have the uh, the show when it finally goes up. So it's not like Netflix has the same crew working on both. Even with that understanding, it still was one of those things where I kept giving the Kaiba Bebop the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. I was like, I like the cast. Costuming looks good. Okay, they're taking good care of this. And then that first trailer dropped and I was like, hmm... Something ain't right here. And then I tried to watch the series and it just became the biggest train wreck that I've ever seen. And since that moment, I have had a hard time recovering from any live action anime adaptations. Now, I do think there are some good live action anime adaptations out there. I think the Rona Kenshin films from Japan are pretty good. Uh, I liked Alita Battle Angel and I am in the vast minority that I actually enjoyed the Ghost in the Shell live action. I know, crucify me, I'm sorry. But when it comes to Yu Yu Hakusho... Uh, it is something very, very near and dear to my heart. You guys know that I have gushed about Yu Haka show many times on this channel. It is a show that I know it's cliche to say, but I did grow up with. I was the same age as Yusuke when it first came out in America, and you know I kind of watched it. I idolized Yusuke. I looked up to him. He became a hero of mine in many ways. You know, he was able to be this kind of like rebellion against authority, but still with a good heart, kind of doing things his own way and making his own way in life while just sort of, uh, you know, feeling like an outcast from the world. And it's just something that I feel like, I mean, I guess teenagers in general can relate to, but I, I had a very strong connection to this series and its progression and I watched it the entire way through as it aired and everything and so like it is so like deeply embedded in my soul it is so hard to detach myself from Yu Yu Hakusho in any way I love the original anime series I think it's pretty much virtually perfect and with any sort of continuation or remake of Yu Yu Hakusho you know a, a lot of my thoughts and opinions on that is there's really no reason to because the anime adaptation is pretty much perfect. I know it cuts out a lot of the beginning segments of the manga with Yusuke as a ghost and doing particular little adventures before it turns into like an action series. And yeah, that stuff would be cool to see, but I don't think it really ruins the anime by not having it there. I also think the anime expands really well on the Three Kings arc and makes that feel a little bit more full with as short as it is. And so like the only reason to reboot the anime would just be to update the animation. Which, I mean, I guess would be cool, but I don't really need it to happen. In any other form, any other capacity, the only continuation that I would want is from Tagashi himself, which the man is doing Hunter Hunter, and even that, we were just we we're just coming off a nearly four year hiatus. So to me, I pretty much figure that Yu Hakusho is done. It had its place in time, it had its moment, you know, it is very iconic with the nineties era, just in sort of like the presentation of it, the attitude of the characters, just the feeling, the vibe of it. it. It is very 90s. And I knew that this was coming. I knew that they were doing this live action, but I wanted to block it out of my mind. But now we have official promotion starting to come out. We have this poster that you see right behind me. And usually, not long after a poster comes out, we have a trailer. Oh man, am I worried about that trailer? But let's just look at this poster real quick though. I I got to say the poster itself I kind of like. I'm not probably not, not going to like this series, but I got to I got to give a hand to them at least for the poster. Uh this is pretty much a, a good way to promote it, I would say. However, they still did my boy Kuwabara dirty because they're showing basically where the, the power comes from for each character. We got Yusuke's spirit gun, looking like he's forming a little galaxy there. Kurama's rose, uh, you know, Hiei, which I, I don't know how they're going to do Hiei's ability. But then Kuwabara is just like him standing there with his coat behind him. Like, you're not going to show the spirit sword? You're literally not going to show the spirit sword of my boy Kuwabara? Come on now. Um, and then we have over here, this is a IGN article, which I will link down below in the description. We also have a look at the main character, Yusuke, uh, being played by this actor, whose name has got to be here somewhere. Du -du 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 -du. Um, Kitamura, uh, oh, Takumi Kitamura. So, for those of you that are unaware, 
the Yu Hakusho Show live action is being made in Japan. It is not the same creative team behind Cowboy Bebop or any of the live actions that have come from the U.S. So this is actually going to be Japanese-made uh, production of a live action Yu Yu Hakusho Show, which could give you a little bit more of confidence behind it. But then you remember the Attack on Titan live action, the Full Metal Alchemist live action, and a variety of others that didn't really go the way that we wanted them to. I think a lot of times, too, it is very strange to me that people would even want to attempt to do a live action of some of these anime because I think that what makes them work very well is the fact that they're in animation. I mean, look at a series like Yu Yu Show. It's very high intensity, high action. Yusuke is constantly fighting demons. Just the level of visual effects that you would have to have just to begin with. Now imagine you're doing that on a Netflix budget. I don't know what the budget of the series is. Maybe it actually says here in this article somewhere. Um, but imagine you're doing that with that budget and you have to have a character like Togoro or the Four Saint Beasts or even like Rando. Like even the, the very beginning enemies of the series are these demons that have these transformations and powers and abilities and stuff like that and so transferring that into live action is just very strange to me because what makes it so fun and intense and cool is the kinetic energy that animation gives you that intensity that you can't get from live action that zoom in on a character's face with their wide-eyed expression as they announce something that is going on or as they power up and everything slows down and we feel the intensity of the energy building in yusuke spirit gun all of these things that happen within anime that don't necessarily translate translate well to live action there have been some instances of people being able to do that, but it's pretty rare, and it's rare for a reason, and that's because it works best in animated form. Think about Hiei and his ability of the Dragon of Darkness Flame, like, or, or whatever it is in the original translation. Like, can you imagine that on a Netflix budget? Like, it's gotta be, obviously you can't do it in any other way than CGI, and then, like, to, I just can't picture what, like, the Dragon of the Darkness Flame is going to look like in a live action form spirit gun i can kind of all right it's simple you know it's basic but then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's happened like again like how are you going to do togoro like growing gigantic and being like the specimen that all men should try to acquire to become like i just don't understand um so this article goes on to say the original work is universal and a unique masterpiece and a reason why Japan is so proud of its strong manga and anime culture. Uh, happy to share the masterpiece of Yu Yu Show with the world. Hope we can create something that people everywhere will enjoy. Um, and then it gives a little bit of description about it. Uh, let's see. Netflix appears to be vigilant calling this manga adaptation. Although Yu Yu Show has been adapted as an anime in the past, it was a beloved version of the story and we previously called it one of the best anime series of all time. I would agree. Uh, this is him saying, this is the actor playing Yusuke saying, When I first heard about Yu Yu Show receiving a live-action adaptation, I honestly wondered if it would even be possible. But after being presented with the producer's vision and possibilities with Netflix, my expectations grew, and I found myself burning with passion to make this project come to life. More than anything, I think the appeal of Yu Yu Hakusho comes from its characters, which is why I wanted to highlight in the appealing relationships and battles in Yu Yu Show. Uh, I will have plenty of action scenes. Visual effects we use are quite advanced as we utilize cutting-edge technology aimed at the best quality we can achieve. Lastly, from the very beginning, we are strongly aware of creating a series for a global audience. Just like when I first heard about the adaptation, there are many people out there who feel like it's impossible. It's an impossible undertaking. No matter how many ways I express how I feel, I believe the work will speak for itself and prove that it is possible. I will continue to pour my heart and soul into the project to deliver the best entertainment uh, for, from Japan to the world. Now, that is a very uh, awesome quote, I would say. I mean, it sounds like he's actually passionate about it. And to play a character like Yusuke Yurameshi would be like a really great role. And that's the thing that he is correct about is that it's the characters of Yu Yu Show that make you love this series. Any series can throw you crazy battle sequences and demons and stuff, but it's because each of the four main characters are so specific and unique. The characters of Yu Yu Show, all four of the main characters are so incredibly different, and yet they mix so well to each other, and each of them have a very specific dynamic with one another. Like, how Kuwabara and Yusuke are together is different than how Kuwabara and Kurama are together, which is very different to how Ku Kuwabara and Hiei are together. They all have a very specific dynamic, and 
and for all intents and purposes, these four people should not be together in any way, but they make the perfect team because of that. Um, so uh, even though I do enjoy his quote, I would say that it obviously, if you were an actor promoting a show, you're not allowed to say anything negative about the property. So every actor promoting every show and every movie is going to say this is going to be amazing. It's just par for the course. So you kind of have to look at more so the reasons why he's saying what he's saying and i think a lot of it is just he's happy to be playing the role of yusuke which i understand for an actor but as an audience receiving this series i am incredibly nervous about it uh yu hakusho is so fantastic if you guys haven't watched yu hakusho please go back and do so don't let the old style animation stop you from watching it just just watch it just watch it and if you think the first couple episodes are boring then I, you know, I just can't. I just can't with you. I just can't. Just, just no. Just go somewhere else. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Uh, put your comments down below. What do you think about the Yuhaka Show uh, posters that we've received? And like I said, usually not long after they release a poster, they start to release trailers. So I would not be surprised if we got a trailer within the next month. And I, I am so – like that's going to be the make or break here. It's already pretty broken. We already have a bad reputation with live action, and we already pretty much universally don't want this to happen. But that trailer, if that trailer winds up being good, I will fully admit to it. Like, I am not somebody that is going to be stubborn and just constantly stick to one opinion. I change my opinions all the time. I'm not even the same person today that I was yesterday. Like, I'm constantly fluctuating, right? So, we will see. But as of right now... I don't want this to happen. I, I would rather just have a continuation in some other animated form or just none at all and just let it be, let it rest in peace and let it just remain the iconic series it is. But you guys let me know what you think down below. Comment your thoughts about this. I'd be super curious to read them all. I'm actually really excited too. And uh, I'll link the article down below as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Also, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it will help me in the algorithm a lot more than you think it does. And if you want to support the channel on that deeper level, I do have a Patreon and merch store that are linked down below. Even as low as $1 a month would be extremely helpful, and I do have a bunch of perks involved as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time.